to Lynn's Recipes. Today I'm going to make crock pot chicken and dumplings. This recipe rivals the chicken and dumplings that takes me at least half a day to make usually. I made this a couple of weeks ago and we really enjoyed it so I thought I'd share the recipe with you. To make this recipe these are the ingredients that you're going to need. You'll need two tablespoons of butter, two cans of cream of chicken soup, a can of chicken broth, three to four boneless skinless chicken breast, a half a chopped onion, a teaspoon of dried dill, or if you don't like dill or prefer something else, you can put about a tablespoon of dried parsley, salt and pepper, and you'll also need a can of refrigerated buttermilk biscuits. This is what we're going to do to make the chicken and dumplings. The first thing we're going to do is put in our soups. Just put that in the bottom of the crock pot. And then I'm going to pour my chicken broth on top of that. And then I'm just going to whisk this all together just so it's mixed before I add my other ingredients. Okay. And now I'm going to add my onion. My butter, my dill, and then I'm just going to add a little salt and pepper. And that's just to taste, however much you prefer. And then we simply just put our chicken breast into the mixture. top on and I'm going to set this to cook for six hours on high. I'm going to keep an eye on this and after five hours I'm going to come back and that's when we put the biscuits that I showed you into the mixture. Our chicken's been cooking for five hours and now we're ready for the next step. So I'm going to take the top off and this is what it looks like. And so what I'm going to do now is take my tongs and my fork and I'm just going to kind of break it apart and shred it into pieces. Okay, so our chicken is all shredded and I, I switched to two forks. It was a little bit easier to shred it with two forks than the tongs and, um, and a fork. So that looks pretty good. So now we're going to move on to our next step, which is adding the biscuits to form the dumplings. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pizza cutter and I'm going to cut these biscuits into fourths. I've laid them out on my cutting board and it's a little bit easier to do them <clears throat> more than one at a time with the uh, pizza cutter. So this is what we're going to do. Just slice through them. One way and then go the other way. Okay, so now what we do is just drop them in. If you want, you don't have to use quite so many, but we like lots of dumplings in our chicken and dumplings, so I'm adding the whole can. Stir those for a second, get them down in there, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this and continue cooking it for another hour. Now I will tell you that the biscuits will absorb a lot of this broth, so I'm going to keep an eye on this, and I actually have some extra chicken broth here that I'm going to add if I feel like I need to, to get my desired consistency. Our crock pot chicken and dumplings are done, and this is what it looks like. Take the top off and show you. Now I'm going to put some in a bowl and 
show you what it looks like in a serving bowl. This is a great recipe if you're, especially this time of year when you're busy with um, shopping or you're out doing activities with your children for the Christmas season or the holiday season, that you can do ahead of time, put it on in the morning and come home and just finish it up and it's ready. So these are my crock pot chicken and dumplings. I hope you enjoy it.